second division in the Dwayne uh, Rig Memorial. Race six in the card, $2,447 the purse. 50% to the winner, 25% for second, 12% for third, 8% for fourth, and 5% for fifth. Looks like number three, a wearing Ledoux. Definitely the filly to beat here. She's six for eight this year with a second and a third. Sixth race, Philly Pacers have reached the gate, and Bob Grutter has the mobile starting gate on the move. Cullen's Dancer, Hart Walker, Give Me a Reason, Tom Simmons. A Waring Ledoux, Mike Rogers, T.K. Gimlet, Rick Schrock, and Quid Abroad, and Alan Bowen. Phillies at the head of the stretch. Here they come. They're off in pace, and Cullen's Dancer on the inside, but a wearing Ledoux. The six-time winner drives out and then grabs the lead here as we race into the first turn. It's a wearing Ledoux and Mike Rogers, and they're rolling right on here, folks. We just had a new track record in the first division of this race. And Mike Rogers is zooming around the first turn with this Warrior for Peace Philly. He leads by 10. He's trying to take her back. You see him leaning back there and trying to rate the filly. She's been winning all summer. She's a very talented animal, and she leads now by about six lengths, and Mike continues to try to rate her. She's off the quarter in a very snappy 28 and three-fifths of a second. 28 and the three. Now, the track record for two-year-old pacing fillies was just set here, 201 and two. This filly is really burning here off the 3 eight. She's at the head of the stretch, and Mike continues to try to reel her in a little bit because there's some nice fillies in this field, and he doesn't want this filly to spend herself here in the early going. She's past the half. Give me a reason is right there second. Incredible Broad is there third. The half, folks, 58 and one-fifth of a second. The half and 58 and one over this lightning fast racetrack. It's still a wearing Ledoux, the warrior for peace filly, and Mike still got a hold of her off the half at 58 and one, but now Tom Simmons, the veteran, is lurking dangerously there second with give me a reason Alan Bowen got a real shot here with incredible broad she's third on the inside Cullen's dancers racing a fourth we got a quarter of a mile to go with TK Gimlin at the back three quarters and 129 and two and folks they're going to break the track record just said I believe up front it's a wearing Ledoux and she's amazing here she leads by two and a half lengths give me a reason who's got the perfect trip but incredible broad is also being along the rail got a catcher this is a filly off a half and 58 and one is game towards the wire here. It's a wearing Ledoux. Give me a reason trying to come on. A wearing Ledoux is going to win it. A wearing Ledoux in a monster mile. Give me a reason. It'll be second. And could have brought his home third. Two minutes, one-fifth of a second. Two minutes, one-fifth. Into the Illinois State Fairs. We're now just about 10 days from the eliminations at the Illinois State Fair. This filly will be there. She's owned by Ron and Dee Phillips of Petersburg and Jess Fergie of Platteville, Colorado. Ron Phillips was the former Menard County Sheriff, a multi-term county sheriff in Menard County. Ron then went to work for the U.S. Marshal's Office for the Central District of Illinois, and then he retired a few years ago, and him and his wife, Dee, went to training standard bred horses over at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. They train about a dozen there. Mike Rogers has been associated with the Phillipses since their start. He drives a lot of their horses very, very capably. Let's give her a big hand, folks. There's Ron and Dee Phillips and Mike Rogers with the fastest two-year-old pacing filly ever at the Brown County Fair, a wearing Ledoux, two minutes, one-fifth of a second. This is the Dwayne Rigg Memorial, and the family of Dwayne Rigg is trackside now to make that trophy presentation. Dwayne Rigg, a longtime fair board member, he was the track superintendent here. He took a lot of pride in making this track one of the fastest in the state. Many records were set back under Dwayne Riggs' track supervision. But Dwayne Riggs would be absolutely amazed at how fast we go these days. The Dwayne Riggs Memorial to Ron and Dee Phillips, Jess Fergie, Mike Rogers, and O'Waring Ledoux, who just won for the seventh time in nine starts.
in 2003. Mike Rogers, get a quick word with our winning driver. Mike, looks like she about pulled your arms out of their sockets. Are you tired? She's a little handful. I'll have to put a little mini bit on her next time. <laughs> <laughs> a handful and maybe a different bit to make her more drivable next time. Uh, this filly is uh, probably head of the state fair, Mike. Uh, the Isoba race, would that be right? That's right, yep. She ain't state to the Illinois big one race. All right, we'll wish you best of luck for the $5,000 race. Mike, congratulations. Good job. Thank you, Kurt. Mike Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. And a little background on Mike. Do we have any former high school